Red flags are still flying in Panama City Beach. That means the Gulf is closed to the public. PCB officials say 11 people have drowned so far this year in Bay County, including a Tennessee man who died yesterday after he went into the Gulf trying to save his girlfriend. The beach safety director says pay attention to the flag warning system and listen to lifeguards on the beach. It is simply too dangerous to get into the water right now. Our lifeguards have patrolled this whole coastline and we, we have really put forth the effort. The, we're just having an issue with just simple non-compliance. Well, since the start of the year, officials say lifeguards have entered the water more than 2,000 times. And when, when will people be able to get back in the water? Meteorologist Dan Nyman joins us here. And Dan, what can we expect? Is there light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, certainly some sunlight at the end of the tunnel. So we've seen the rain kind of disappear. We're just waiting for that actual low that brought all that rainfall to start to depart so we can get rid of some of those strong southwesterly winds that have been kind of churning the Gulf up over the last week or so. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at what the water appears to be right now in Panama City Beach. You see the white capped waves. That's a sign of rougher conditions. You also see some breaks in the waves. Look at this, for example. That is a clear sign of a rip current. Also that concavity in the coastline there suggesting we do have a slam dunk rip current there. That's why the beach safety directors are putting out double red flags. It's very evident if you know what to look for that the water is dangerous at the moment. Now that beach forecast for tomorrow, we still have the three foot surf with winds out of the west at 15 miles per hour. So moving in the right direction. We still have a rougher boating forecast though on the way and we'll have to wait for that low to depart over the next couple of days. Still have southwesterly winds tonight. Those winds will start to churn up just a bit more over the next couple of days and of course we'll see those winds die down once we get through the weekend. That's when we can probably make our way back ashore.